um, Crystal Henry or Evangelist Crystal Henry. Those are the ways on Facebook that you can um, stay in this word for this amount of time. Amen. The scripture again, Matthew 26 and 42. This is our scripture for our fast. It reads again, a second time. And many of us have had first, second, third, 2,000 chances with God. But God still keeps on blessing us. And it says again, a second time, he went away and prayed. We've been praying, but sometimes we got to go into a recluse, an exclusive place to pray. So it says, Jesus did this a second time. He went away praying, saying, oh, my father, this is how you pray. Oh, my father, if this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, your will be done. Whose will? Your will be done. Whose will? The father's will be done. Whose will? Jesus's will be done. Whose will? The Holy Ghost will be done. Three ways for answered prayers, the father, the son, and the Holy Ghost, the Trinity, all in one. Three ways. For your prayers to get answered. That's what we're talking about on this morning. We're finishing up this um, series, The Way, The Truth, and The Life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. So jump into John chapter 14. John chapter 14. This is an excellent place to be praying from during our fast. John chapter 14. And we're going to start <clears throat> in verse 1. <clears throat> we're going to start in verse 1. Amen? It says, Let not your heart be troubled. Our heart <clears throat> has been troubled. Our heart has felt some kind of way. Our mind has felt some kind of way. We've been going through some feelings in 2020. He said, but let not your heart be troubled. Why? Because you need to believe in God. You need to believe in who? God, not man, not the president, not, not the governor, not the mayor. Who do you need to believe in? God. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Capital M-E, that's Jesus, not me. Believe, I'm just the messenger delivered in the word. He said, believe also in me, in Jesus. Jesus is trying to explain how the gap between God in heaven and Jesus on earth needs to be sealed. That gap needs to be sealed. It needs to be filled. Jesus and God are one. Mm. So we need to believe in Jesus. Therefore, we're believing in God. Let's keep going. It says, in my father's house are many mansions. He's saying, even if you don't make it here, I go to prepare a place for you. It says, if it were not so, I would have told you. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. He said, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. That's because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the true way. So he's go, he's come, he came down from heaven to show us a way of life, how we should be living, how we should be executing life. And then he went back to heaven to say, when it's all over, when your time here is up, when you drank the cup and your assignments are over, that I'm going to show you the way to get to heaven. It goes on to say, he says, I will come again and receive you to myself. He said that where I am, there you may be also. Where I am, there you may be also. The great I am, the great I am is going to help us to get to a place where our prayers are answered. It's, he's going to help us get to a place where we believe God, his father, more and more. The more we know about Jesus, the more we know about God, the more our prayers get answered because we our belief gets stronger. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Well, when you have the faith of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. Well, the faith that you need to get through this pandemic, to get through this season, to get out of 2020 and to get into 2021, this is the faith that needs to be growing. This is the faith that needs to be manifesting. This is the faith that needs to be moving in you. Come on, somebody. He goes on to say in verse um, four, and where I go, you know, 
We've looked up. We've seen. We've wondered. How have the stars um, been staying in the sky? How has the sun been staying? How is the earth moving? He said, where I go, you know, and the way you know. And Thomas, Thomas said, Thomas represents those of us who have doubts. Thomas represents those of us who has doubts. So Thomas is like, what you mean? I know where you, I don't know step by step how to get there. I don't know what it takes to get there. He's like, I, mm, I, I'm not sure. Mm, I'm not sure if I should believe what he's saying. And he says, Thomas, he said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going and how can we know the way and jesus explains clearly he gives us an understanding and jesus says to him i am jesus says to us i am jesus says to you i am jesus says to them i am he said i am what else do we need he said i am what else do we need he said i am the way well, what's the way? I don't understand the way. I, I don't understand the way. What is the way? He said, I am the way. The way is the strategy. I am the procedures and the process. He said, I am the road. I am the reproach. I am your routine. I am the system. I am the systematic way. He said, I am the key. That's what it means by way. When Jesus said, I am the way, he is the key. Anybody ready to turn the key to get your prayers answered? He said, I am the the way. He said, I am the key. That's what it means by being the way. So we got to be ready to take the way of the key and turn it. Are you ready to turn the key? Are you ready for the word on today? Because the great I am is speaking through me. And he said, I am the way. So get ready for the key. Get ready to turn it. Get ready to move in it. Get ready to get ready to process in the system. Get ready to approach the ways that you need to approach. Get ready to go down the road. God said, I am the way. And the way means it is a process. It's a road. It's a system. It's a key. It's a routine. It is a strategy. God is giving us a strategy on his way. How do I go on his way? How do I understand his way? How do I get in the process of his way? Let's keep going. Not only is the great I am our way, he said, I am the truth. There is no truer truth than Jesus. He said, I am the truth. Well, what does it mean, the truth? He is the word. We have heard that he is the bread of life. The bread of life is um, what we eat. Um, we open our mouth wide and we consume the word. Every time we read the word, every time we hear the word, we understand that I am said it. Therefore, that settles it. I am the truth. So what is the truth? The truth is the word. Jesus is the word. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. The word is what? It's written or spoken instruction. When God said, let there be, then what? It became. And so we got to understand that the word, whether it is written and spoken, it is written and it is spoken. Amen. Therefore, it is and it shall become. He, the, the word is the key. Once again, the word is the designation because the words guide us. The word of God guides our footsteps and puts us in the place where we should go. He will give us um, the city that we should be in. He will give us a destination. We may not have full understanding of where he is taking us and how we're going to get there, but we better know that he is our God. I remember earlier, a couple of months ago, before I got the job that I'm working on, I kept hearing Denton. I kept seeing Denton and I'm like, God, we moving to Denton. I'm thinking we moving to Denton, but my job ended up being in Denton. Come on, somebody. So we have to be, we have to have an ear to hear. It may not be what we think, but listen to I am. So he said, I am the way. Then he said, I am the truth. Well, the truth is the word and the word means that it is a command. 
the words, when words are put together, they create a command. They create instruction. Come on, somebody. They create designation. They create expression. And so, therefore, he said, I am the truth. And the truth is the word. The word is the truth and nothing but the truth. So help us God. And so that is what I am said. He said, I am the truth. There's no truer truth than Jesus. There's no truer way than Jesus. And so therefore the word represents what is written or spoken. It's instructions. It is commands. It is the designation of where we should go. It gets us to our destined places. It gets us to where we need to be and to where we need to go. It gets us to a, an expression of praise. It gets us to an expression of worship. It gets us to where, to the truth of the matter. It, it exposes the enemy. It exposes the lie. It exposes the confusion. Come on, somebody. It, it exposes it to us. The word exposes it. If we listen clearly, we can hear the truth in the words. We can hear the lies in the word of the enemy. Come on, somebody. And so we have got to be skilled hearers of the word, not just hearers only, but I need you to be a doer, not just hearers only, but I need you to be doers of the word. The I am said it and that settles it. The word is the key. The truth is the key. The truth will stop you from following a lie. The truth will come out. We may not like it. It might be stanky. It might be ugly, but we'd rather have the truth than the lie. So he said, Jesus said to the doubter, Jesus said to the doubters, Jesus said to the doubters, Jesus said to us, the doubters. He said to Thomas, the doubter, he said, I am the way. He said, I am the truth, truth, meaning the um, word, the command, the instruction, the understanding, the real deal, the reality. He said, I am the truth. That means he is the reality of what we are seeking. He is the reality of prosperity. He is the reality of life and life more abundantly. He is the reality. Come on. And so that's what he means by truth. And then it says, and I, I'm not only the way. He said, I'm not only the way. I'm not only the truth. But he said, and, and the life. What? 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 He said, the life. He is the breath of life. We watched how a man's breath was taken from him. And many people walked around saying, I can't breathe. COVID took the breath from many people saying, I can't breathe. But God said, I am the life. He said, I am the very breath, the very essence of life. And so we've got to get that understanding that he is the life. So when we breathe in the word, he is the life. When we breathe in the ways that we should go, he is our life. When we breathe in the way that we should respond to chaos, the way we should respond is life. We are life. We are the light of the world. Come on, somebody. And the light of the world brings life. Light brings life. There's, there's no plant that can survive, successfully survive in darkness. The plant needs light, some type of light. The plant needs water. God, Jesus is our what? Living water. Come on. And guess what else a plant needs? <sighs> oxygen. Come on. Come on. Come on. The plant needs oxygen also. You need oxygen. I need oxygen. We need to breathe in. Breathe into me, O oh Lord, the breath of life so that my heart so that my mind, so that my soul, my spirit will be made right. That's what we need. So it says here in John 14 and 6, I am who sent me. 
the great I am sent me. Who sent you on today to hear this word? The great I am sent you. The great I am came to get your attention. Can I have your attention, please? Yes, you need to get an understanding of this so that when it gets to the point where you need some prayers answered, when it gets to the point where you need understanding, you can go to the right way. Mm, mm, mm. See, when we're driving, we have to yield to the one that has the right of way. Oh I, oh, I know you didn't hear me. When we are driving on a road, we have to get to the one, yield to the one that has the right of way. Jesus has the right of way. We need to yield to him. And see, once you yield to the one that has the right of way, then you can go in behind him and follow along. Come on, somebody. I need you to go behind and follow along. Follow me as I follow Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And then he says this. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, period. Period. Y'all got that? Period. Jesus is what? The way, the truth, and the life, period. And then it says, no one. No one. No man, no woman, no boy, no girl. No one. No one comes to the Father except through me. No one comes to the Father when except through me. Hmm. Wow. Jesus. Except through Jesus. So it goes on. We go on to think, Jesus, you said you're the way. Jesus, you said you're the truth. Good morning, Pastor. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for joining from Georgia. You said you are the way. You are the truth and the life. But nobody, nobody can come to the Father except through you. So therefore, we need to get an understanding. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. We've heard this um, quoted. But write this down. This will be another one of your scriptures that you need to be studying during this fast. If you are fasting with us the last 2,021 minutes of 2020, starting December 30th at 2.19 p.m., December 30th, 2.19 p.m. till January 1st, 2021 at 12.01 a.m., then you are fasting with us, water only. These are the scriptures. These are the keys that will unlock your prayers. These are the keys that will unlock doors for you in 2021. What is our theme for 2021? Lord, let your will be done in 2021. Lord, let your will be done in 2021. So when we look at Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it says, trust in the Lord. Trust in who? Trust in the great I am. Trust in who? Trust in Jesus. Trust in who? Trust in the Holy Ghost. Trust in who? Trust in the Father in heaven. Trust in the Trinity. Trust in the Lord. Okay? Trust in the Lord with what? All your heart. With all what? Your heart. Don't trust in even take your broken pieces of your heart. Come on, somebody. And, and allow um, those broken pieces to trust in the Lord. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do what? Lean not unto your own understanding. Well, you know, my, my granny said, and, and so on, so on, so on. No, what does the word say? The word is what? Your way. The word is what? Your truth. The word is what? Your life. Trust in the way. Trust in the truth. Trust in the word of God. And it says, lean not to your own understanding. Your own understanding said, do it yourself. Uh, believe in yourself. No, the word of God says, believe in the Lord. Come on, somebody. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for your hearts. Appreciate it. Thank you for the thumbs up. It, he said, trust in what? The Lord. Lean not to your own what? Understanding. So we've got to lean on the word. We've got to lean on the truth. We've got to lean on the way. We've got to lean on the life of Christ because that showed us how we are to live life more abundantly. So in Proverbs 3, we're in verse 5 and 6. It says, lean not to your own understanding. And here we go. It says, in all your ways. 
Well, wait. Jesus says, trust in what? All your ways. Huh? Trust in all the ways. In all your ways, acknowledge him. What way? The way of Christ. So the way I used to handle things, the way I used to function, the way I used to think, I don't need to think like that anymore. What I need to do is have the mind of Christ and lean to what the understanding of Christ is. And how do I lean to the understanding of Christ? I got to get in his word and get an understanding. And all thy getting, get what? An understanding. So you are here now to do what? Get an understanding. Amen. And so it says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. Acknowledge who? The great I am. Who are we following? I am said he's the way. I am said he's the truth. I am said he's the life. And so we acknowledge that he is the way and I'm following him. He is the truth and I'm, I'm, I'm spitting out his truth. I'm, I'm saying the same thing that he's saying. And I don't mean spitting out in a bad way. I'm saying I'm saying what he's saying. Come on, somebody. And then I acknowledge the truth and I acknowledge that he is my life. <laughs> he is my life. He is my life. And then it says, and he shall direct your what? He's going to direct your path. He's going to direct where you go. He's going to direct who you need to connect with. He's going to direct your path. He is directing you. He is positioning you. He is placing you. He is shifting you. You're, you're like, but I thought that was where I was supposed to go. He said, no, that sounded good. That sounded good, but that's not where you need to go. I, I want you to prosper in where I'm taking you. So don't get upset because you're not going where you thought you was going to go. Don't get upset, but be willing and open to go where God is leading you. Be willing and able to go the way he's telling you to go. You might have put all your eggs in one basket. You might have thought, man, that was really... Uh, he was the one or th they were the one. That's where I should have gone. And God is saying, no, no. I, I, he's saying, actually, I hid you. I, I used that to hide you. But now I'm taking you where you should go. I, now I'm putting you in a place where you should be. And now I'm causing you to walk in the way. So we've got to do what? Not lean to our own understanding, but in all our ways, acknowledge him because what he is going to direct our paths. Why will Jesus direct our paths? Because he's what? The way. Why is he going to direct us in the way we should go? Because he is the way. So now let's get back to John 14. We were in John 14 and 6. Circle that. If you got a Bible, circle that whole verse 6. And now I want you to circle verses 12, 13, and 14. Put a big circle around that. Highlight it. We're in James 14, verse 12, 13, and 14. We started with James 14. I read the 1 through 6, but I want emphasis on verse 6. God said, emphasize verse 6. He is the way, the truth, and the life, period. No one comes to the Father except by him. So we need to be following who? Him. And then he said, I want to answer your prayers. So therefore, highlight verses 12, 13, and 14. Why? Because the way is going to get us to the answered prayer life. Come on. He, he's going to get us to the place where he's answering our prayers because our prayers are lined up with his will. Our prayers are lined up with his way. Our, our prayers are taking us to the destiny that God has called us to go to. Come on, somebody. This is good. I'm, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. So I'm telling you, write down these verses. John 14, circle verse 6, circle 12, 13, and 14. There's three keys to answered prayers in 2021. Um, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, circle that. Matthew 26, Matthew 26, verse 42, Lord, let your will be done in 2021. These are all prayer points. 
So here we go. Are you ready? For those people that are uncertain, that are not confident that God is the way, the truth, and the life, this is what we need you to pray for. I need you to not be a doubter with Thomas. I need you to be a believer and a doer. Come on, somebody. And so we're going to dispel the doubt, the uncertainty, the lack of confidence in God. God is a miracle worker. He's our way maker. He is it. Come on, somebody. And let's talk about the will. We want the Lord's will to be done. The will means that we understand. See, when we get an understanding of the will, then we don't um, have a problem following the written instructions of a will. See, when people write their will, their last will and testament, those are instructions on what they want, um, what they really want to happen to their money what they really want to happen to their property, and what they really want to happen to their body. So if we are believing and trusting in the last will and testament of our deceased loved one, and they're saying there's an executor to the will, that means somebody that I trust will carry out my wishes. So the same way the Lord is saying, I need you to trust in my will for your life. The Lord is saying, I need you to trust in my will for your life. And so a will is a written, written instruction that needs to be executed to execute the matters of your life. So God is saying, my will be done. God is saying, my will be done. And so we get in agreements with God and we say, Lord, let your will be done. Because what your instructions are for my life, for my children's life, for my children's children's life, for my husband's life, for my wife's life, for my aunt, my uncle's life, uh, for my business's life. Come on, somebody. For my business's life, for my other business, for that business and that business's life. I need to understand the written instructions that God laid out before me. I want these instructions that come from God to be executed in the manner that he desires. I want the execution of his will to be done in my life. Can somebody say that? Lord, let the execution of your will be done in my life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, let the execution of your will. That means let everything that God wants for me be carried out in my lives and in my loved one's lives. Come on. We need our prayers answered, but our prayers need to be lined up with kingdom, with kingdom. We need our prayers to be lined up with kingdom. Lord, let your will be done in my life, in our lives. Come on. Come on. So a will is we want to understand the written instru instructions. We want to be able to execute what God wants in our life. We want to yield to God's will. We yield. God has what? The right of way in my life. So I'm yielding to the right of way of God. The word means it's a written command and instructions. The word is a written command. It's an expression. It's instructions. Come on, somebody. This is good stuff. And the word is a key. It's a designation. When we turn the key, when we speak the right words, when we say the right things, our will is surrendered to the Lord's will and his will will be done. Our prayers will be answered. Come on. Can you imagine? Because God said, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and all those other things shall be added. So the things that you want added, seek him first. Seek ye first. Seek ye first, seek him first, and all those other things will be added. You will lack for nothing. The Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want. That's his will. The Lord is what? Our shepherd. If you yield to the shepherd, if you yield to the Lord, his will be done. Everything you wanted, things that you didn't think you should have start coming because you have you have not leaned to your own understanding, but you say, God, I don't understand, but your will be done. Come on, somebody. God, I don't know how you're going to do it, but that's not my business. That's your business. Lord, let your will be done. Come on, somebody. I'm almost done. And the way, the way is a key. It's a strategy. It's a routine. It's a system. It's a method. 
The way is a system, a method, a strategy that God uses so that we can be successful, so that God uses so that we can have the life and have it more abundantly. God uses for us to get healthy. Come on, somebody. The way, the truth, and the life. Come on. No one comes to the Father but by him. Let's keep going. It says in John 14 and 12, it says, most assuredly, I say to you, this is why I'm talking to you now, because you really need to share this word because somebody else needs to hear it. He said, most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes, I need all the believers to say, I believe. I don't know how he's going to do it, but I believe he is the way, the truth and the life. He who believes in me, capital M-E is Jesus. He who believes in Jesus, hmm, the works I do. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. He said, Jesus said, who is the capital M-E is Jesus. And he said, the works I do. Who's working in you? Jesus is working in me. Who's working in you? Jesus is working in me. He said the works that I do, he will do. So that means that Jesus got back up. A lot of times we be looking for backup and Jesus is in us. Therefore, what he does through us, the father will do. Come on. We got back up. We got, we, if we yield, if we yield to Jesus, he's going to do it. He said, what? What does it say in verse 12? He said, the works that I do, he will do. So if you're operating in what? The way, the truth, and the life. He said, the works that he does, the works that Jesus does, the Father will do. So guess what? When you yield to the one that has the right of way, and that's Jesus, when you yield to him, then you begin to accomplish the things that um, lead you into your destiny, lead you on your path of righteousness. Come on. I, I need you to get an understanding, not lean to our own understanding, but lean to Jesus's understanding. And so the greater one is where? In me. Jesus, where? In my heart. If we accept Jesus into our heart, into our life, into our soul, into our spirit, then what? We yield to him. We lean to him. And when we lean to him, he says, what? What does he say in verse 12? We are in John 14 and 12. He said, the works that I do, he will do. Therefore, what Jesus says, God will do. It will come to pass. He said, also. He said, what he does, the Lord will do what also? And greater works. Somebody say greater. The things that I didn't even expect God to do. I don't know how he's... I, why did he pick me? Because you yielded to him. The more we yield to him, the more his way and his will works. The more we yield to him, the more he can do. The more we say, God, let your will be done. The more he can do. God, have your way. The more he can do. Lord, have mercy. Do it, God. The more he can do. Come on, somebody. Hey, hey, God bless you. Thanks for joining me. Um, the more he can do. We're in John 14 and 12, and it says greater works than these he will do. So greater than I can imagine, exceedingly and abundantly above all that I could ask or think he's going to do. Greater works than these he will do because I go to my father. So because we've yielded to the one that has the right of way, which is Jesus. And so when we yield to him and we give him the right of way, we allow him to pass by. I know you wanted to go first. I, I know you wanted to get through that life first, but go ahead and yield to the one that has the right of way and let him go first. And when he goes first, come on somebody, he said greater works than these Will he do so greater than I've seen him do before? Yes, he's going to lead you. He's going to cause you to boldly go where you've never gone before. He's going to cause you to boldly go where you've never gone before because greater 
The greater he does, the more he does, the more he uses you, the more you can see. The more you can see, the more you can follow the way. See, the more I see Jesus do, the more I want to go in that way. Come on, somebody. The more I see him doing in me, the more I want my, my mind, my soul, my spirit responds to the way. We need to yield, not to our, not to lean on our own understanding, but we need to yield to the one that has the power. And what does he have? Woo! He got power. He got power. He said greater works than these. Greater works than the ones that you saw in the Bible. Greater works than the ones that you saw last week. Greater works than the ones that you saw at the beginning of the year. Greater works. The one that healed you. The one that saved you. The one that kept you from that crash. The one that kept you from being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh yes, that one. He said, greater works than these will he do because I go to my father. He said, what did he say in verse 6? That he is the way, the truth, and the life. What? Period. He said, period. No one comes to the Father except through me. So when we say in Jesus' name, we're asking Jesus to take our request to the Father. And if our request lines up with the word, remember we talked about the will, the word, and the way. That's what we're praying for. The will, the word, and the way of God. The will, the word, and the way of God. And so when we pray the will, the word, and the way of God, Jesus takes it where? To our Father in heaven. He is our what? He is our intercessor. He is our bridge. And so when he takes the word, the will, and the way to the Father in heaven, then the Father says what? Then I will do it. Because Jesus said it, God said I will do it. That's how they they operate. They are in sync. Jesus God and the Holy Ghost, they are in sync. And so that's how it happens. That's how the accomplished. That's how it gets accomplished because we lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways, we do what? Acknowledge Jesus. So we say, Lord Jesus, have mercy. We say, Jesus, we say, Jesus, have mercy. Jesus, your will be done. And when his will is done, then the father does what? Says, yes, I will do it. Mm, let's keep going. We're almost done. We are almost done. And it says in verse 13, and whatever you ask in my name, in the name of Jesus, for Jesus Christ's sake, for Jesus Christ's sake, in the what name of Jesus, there is no other name that is higher than the name of Jesus. There is no other greater name than the name of Jesus. There is no other name higher and greater than the name of Jesus. There is no other name higher or greater than the name of Jesus. He said, and whatever you ask in my name, in the name of Jesus, that I will do. Who will do it? Jesus will do it. He said, what you ask in my name, when it's lined up with my will, when it's lined up with my word, when it's lined up with my way, he said, that I will do. He said that very thing he will do. That's why we need to know the character of God. That's why we need to know the word of God. Because what he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father, but what? By him. So he said, he said, and whatever you ask in my name, in the name of Jesus, he said that I will do that the father may be what glorified in the son. The father's going to do what be glorified in the son. And when you have the son in you, then guess what? When the son I get the glory through you, Gaynell, I'm getting the glory through you, John. I'm getting the glory through you, Bianca. I'm getting the glory through you. I'm getting you the glory through you, Huck. I'm getting the glory through you. Why? Because you let Jesus in. Why? Because you let the key in. The, the key in for his name's sake. You, you ask for it. What? In his name. In his name. Whatever you ask in my name, that will I do. And the Father that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And when the Son is in you, then God will get the glory through you. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. Verse 14 says, how do I get my prayers answered in 2021? Well, I got to... 
believe in the will of God. I've got to yield to the right of way of the will. I, I, I got to know that when I pray his word back to him, it's going to come to pass. Uh, when the word and what the way the word and what the way the word the way and the will of God and he said if you ask anything in my name in whose name in Jesus's name when you ask anything in the name of Jesus according I know it don't say according but I'm telling you how to get these are the three ways that you can get your prayers answered in 2021 you yield you yield, you yield, you yield to Jesus because why he is the way, the truth, and the life. You lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Why? Because he is the way, the truth, and the life, period. And no one can come to the Father but by him. Ain't no, ain't no way around it but by the way of Jesus. In whose name? In Jesus' name. Hmm. And because what Jesus says goes the God, God honors it and that settles it. There, therefore, if you ask anything in my name, Jesus says in Jesus' name, he said, the Father said, I will. Will, shall, those are all have to. Why? Because God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Come on, somebody. So he is the way, the truth, and the life. And we do what? We yield to him. We, we yield to him so that he can go where? Before us. He can lead us down the path of righteousness. Because what I believe, I believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I believe that I can't go to the Father without him. But with him, I can boldly go to the throne. Ha! I can boldly go to the throne of grace. We can boldly go to the throne of grace. And we can get our prayers answered. Why? Because the will, we've yielded to the will. We walked in the way. We followed how Jesus walked. We walked in the way. And we followed the instructions. The will, we follow the instructions. The way, we follow the instructions. The, the word, we follow the instructions. We follow the instructions. And it says, if you ask, Lord, I ask you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you for that property. Lord, I ask you because I want to empower people and I want property so that people can come on it and be empowered. Lord, your will be done. Lord, if it's not your will, then let your will be done. Maybe I'm asking for property in the wrong place, but you've got a building for me. I, I don't know what it is, but Lord, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. And he said, if I ask anything in his name, then the father will what? Answer the son. The father will answer the son. And it'll happen for you because you yielded to the son. Then the father answers the son. The father accomplishes what the son requests. Come on, come on. And you asked it, Jesus, I'm praying to you and I'm asking you this. Nevertheless, let your will be done. Come on, somebody. And when the father answers the son's request. Not Crystal, not Crystal Henry's request. When the Father in heaven answers the Son's request, because I asked it in the name of Jesus, and then God says, yes, Jesus, yes, my Son, it, will, it is so and it will be accomplished. And you know how, how it will be accomplished? Because God said, it is so. It is so. He said, I will do it. Who's doing it? God's doing it. It's not me doing it. So we've got to understand in 2021, the miracles, the signs, and the wonders that we're going to see, who's going to do it? God is doing it. Whose will be done? Your will be done, God. So I encourage you. That's all. I'm done. That's all. I'm done. I encourage you to fast with us, to pray with us. The last 2,021 minutes of 2020, I encourage you to fast the last 
2021 minutes of 2020. Read Matthew 26 and 42. And read that whole chapter, 26. Read that, especially that part, um, starting at verse 36. When God goes to the garden, I'm asking you to pray, pray, pray. And it says, again, the second time, he went away and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if this cup cannot pass away, since I can't get out of the trouble I'm in, since I can't get pull the thorn out of my side, since I have to see this all the way through, I'm scared, Lord, but since I have to see this all the way through, I'm drinking this cup. Nevertheless, your will be done. It says, if this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, I'm drinking this cup. I'm drinking this cup. Your, Lord, your will be done. John 14 and 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And Jesus and John 14 and 14. If you ask anything in my name, in the name of Jesus, I will do it. Those are your keys. Fasting and praying and believing God will do it. The Lord's will be done in 2021. I pray that this word blessed you. I pray that you share this word. I, I'm going to go back and get this word because this is good, good word. Jesus says it. God does it. That settles it. Jesus says it, God does it, and that settles it. And I'm yielding to who? To Jesus. I'm yielding to the one that's all powerful. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word. I thank you for your people. I ask you, Lord God, to seal this word in the blood of Jesus. I pray, Father God, for great success. I pray for great prosperity. I pray for health. I pray for wealth. I pray for understanding. I pray, Father God, that we will not lean to our own understanding, but we will lean, Lord God, on your word because your word, your will, and your way is the truth. <laughs> And it's the true way. And so, God, we're going to lean to you. We're going to yield to you and allow you to guide us, to direct our path. Lord, we thank you for Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And we thank you that you have ordered our steps and that you are guiding us every step of the way. That no matter what it looks like, no matter how it seems, you are guiding us every step of the way. Father, we thank you for being God. We thank you for blessing and covering our family, our children, our spouses, our aunts, our uncles, our cousins. We pray, Father God, for those that are sick. We ask that you pull them through. Lord God, in this very hour, pull them through in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Lord God, we bind um, the spirit of death. We ask that you send the spirit of death back to the pits of hell. We pray, Father God, that you will bless us, that we will be blessed coming in and blessed going out. We pray that you bless us during this fasting time, that we will be able to be stronger and get stronger and stronger during this fast in the name of Jesus, that we will hear you clearer and clearer, that we will hear your word, that we will hear your will, and that we will know which way to go, that we will walk in the way and the path, Lord God, that you have directed us to during this fasting time and fasting season. We thank you that um, one can put a thousand to flight, but two can put 10,000 to flight. So Lord God, cause our enemy to flee from us in seven different directions. Though the enemy may, may come in like a flood, you are going to raise up a standard against him in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we know that the enemy has declared war on us, but we declare victory over him. We declare victory over the enemy. We declare victory over the enemy that no no one, there will be no casualties of war in the name of Jesus, that no one will be lost, Lord God, no one, no man left behind in the name of Jesus, no woman left behind in the name of Jesus. We declare, Lord God, that you will give us sniper um, prayers, Lord God, that the enemy will succumb to our sniper prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the glory. You will get the glory in and through us. Father, you are the way, you are the truth, you are the life. Your will be done in the name of Jesus. Your kingdom come. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, 
Lord, we give you the praise, hallelujah, and we thank you for being God. Now, God, have your way. Have your way. Let your divine will be done. In whose name? In Jesus' name. In whose name? In Jesus' name. In whose name? In Jesus' name, name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen again. I pray that this blessed you. Um, let me give you a few announcements. Remember, on Wednesdays from 7.30 to 8.30, I need you to find me on my Facebook page, Crystal Henry. Mm -mm -mm. The replays are where? On my YouTube channel, Crystal Henry TV. Uh, if you are looking for a coach, a life coach to help you through 2021, you can book me through mymentor.life. MyMentor.life backslash Crystal Henry. You can, um, if you go to MyMentor.life and you're looking for me, look for Coach Crystal Henry. My, my full name will be on my profile page and you can book me um, that way through MyMentor.life. Or you can email me at CoachCrystalHenry at gmail.com. CoachCrystalHenry at gmail.com. And that's a crystal with a K and a Y. Amen. So um, know that and be able to find me. If you would like, to, if this ministry has been a blessing to you in 2020, if this ministry has been a blessing to you, you can give through powerthegospel.org. You can give through powerthegospel.org. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Powerthegospel.org right there. Um, or you can give through Cash App. Cash App right there. POG Ministries through Cash App, or you can write to us at our P.O. Box and send it through the mail. P.O. Box 116638, Carrollton, Texas, 75011. 75011. 75011. Those are the ways that you can give. Amen. I just want to make sure everybody gets that. Amen. And um, powerthegospel.org. Or empowerment, empowerment.org is another way that you can, um, is another way that you can reach. So with that being said, I love you guys. I pray this word blessed you. I pray that you have a blessed rest of your Sunday. Woo! I pray that you have a blessed rest of your week. Um, if I do not see you next Wednesday, for Bible study, because I'm still going to be doing Bible study uh, from 7.30 to 8.30. Then I hope to see you on New Year's. We will close out um, 2020. We'll get on just before midnight. We'll have prayer. We'll read the scripture again. Um, and we will get on before midnight. That way we can finish the fast. We can finish the fast with, how together. Um, and so there'll be um, a video at uh, 219 on December 30th to remind you just before then. I'll go live and we'll do uh, uh, 219 saying, hey, stop eating. Stop what you're doing. <laughs> and then we'll finish it off together. We'll have prayer at 219 and then we'll finish it off together um, January 1st, 2021. So if you're able to stay up at midnight and finish out the fast with us, then please do. So with that being said, I pray that you have a blessed rest of your Sunday, the blessed rest of your week, and Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to you all. Please stay safe. Please stay masked up. Take your hand sanitizer with you. Get you some alcohol. Spray some stuff down and be safe. I love you guys and I look forward to seeing you next week and in 2021. God bless. Have a great one.